Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today I'm going to show you how to make some coasters. Now I'm going to use these blank MDF shapes. Now you can buy these from eBay. I bought a pack of 10 and I'll put the link for these in the description down below. You can also get round ones as well, so you can sort of get whatever shape you want to do. So what you have to do to start with is to paint them. Now you can use acrylic paint or you can use chalk paint, you can use anything really. The paint I used was this one here from the Fairy Chic Emporium. And I just gave the top of the coaster and the side two coats of paint. Right, so once that's dry, you then need to put over the decoupage. Now I'm going to use rice paper. I've been using rice paper quite a lot recently. You can get some really fantastic designs. And there's quite a few shops on eBay that sell them. So you could pop on there and have a look. So you would get your sheet of rice paper, decide which part you want for your, you know, which part of the design you want for your coaster, lay it over just to get the most out of each sheet and to design, decide where you want it, cut it out just a little bit bigger than what you need it and then just stick it on over the top with some some kind of Mod Podge or I, I use this matte finish from the Fairy Chic Emporium. It works really well. It's quite thin so it goes on quite well. So I put the Mod Podge on, pop that over the top and then I let that dry. Once it's dry we're able to take the excess off from around the edges. So this is a dry one here. I didn't bother painting the underside of the coaster because we're going to be covering that so there's no point. So then what you need to do is to get a nail file or some kind of um, sandpaper and just work it like that and this frays the edge and it takes away the um, this part of the rice paper and leaves a really nice clean edge all the way round. So do that around the whole of the coaster and then I'll show you what to do next. Right, now that's all done, I'm going to paint around the edge of the coaster. And I'm just going to use some chalk paint. Again, you can use acrylic paint if you want. I've got some left here, it's like a light brown colour. Just pop a little bit in the lid. And I'm going to go around the sides of the coaster with just a bit of a contrasting colour. And again, I'm going to use these makeup sponges that come from Poundland. If you've got something just to dab it onto, let me just pop this bit of envelope down here. You can get it on your sponge, just dab it off so you've not got too much. And then very carefully just go around the edge and that will give the side just a nice a nice colour. So pick a colour that would go with the pattern that you've got. We could have used greens, we could have used like a darker pink. Um, but I think that this kind of dark brown colour would go really quite nice. So I'm just going to go around the whole of the edge here and then that will be that done. Now we also want to give a shout out to Sylvia. Sylvia is Mark's mum. Many of you may have seen Mark Diva on my channel. He's been a subscriber for a long time and Sylvia wanted to shout out. So of course we want to say hello to Sylvia and she's not very well at the minute. She's going through a bit of a tough time. So lots of love and hugs to you Sylvia and hi to you Mart as well. So now that's all do, done, what I'm going to do is let that dry and then I'll give it another coat as well and then we'll move on to the next step. Right, so this is where we're going to do something slightly different because we're going to give them a crackle effect. Now, you can buy all sorts of different crackles. You can buy a one-step crackle and then you can buy a two-step crackle. Now, if you are going to put a crackle effect over some decoupage, then you would need the two-step because you want... Um, the two to act together to give it like a crackly effect. If you were doing sort of just paint work, then you could use a one step crackle. Now the one that I'm going to use is this from Pentart. It's classic crackle varnish. So you get the one step component there and then you get that one, which is component number two. So it has to be done in stages and I'm still quite new to doing crackle. So um, this is what I've found out so far of what I've been using. But if you've got any tips or anything or any of the makes that work really, really well, um, especially for decoupage or for just painting, then please do let us know in the comments down below because um, it'd be great for us all to kind of learn together. So what we're going to do to start with is to put the first layer of 
the crackle over the top. Now, what I have found out is you can't go, keep going over the same bit. You have to be quite quick when doing it and don't sort of keep rubbing it because it affects the crackle in the way that the crackle turns out. Right, so what I did with mine is the first time I did it, I went over in some long kind of strips and it left it quite streaky. So when I did it again, um, I kind of did it in more sort of short kind of strokes and sort of didn't go over what I'd done. Once I'd done it, I left it, if that made sense. So I did it in kind of short bits. And I think when you kind of like keep brushing over it, that's when it, it goes a bit wrong. So go over all of the the um, the coaster like this. And I have got a different brush actually to the one that I used. And I'm not getting on with this one so well. But I'm going to do, I might swap brushes and finish off the rest of the coaster. Right, so that is done and I'm going to leave that to dry, just leave it to one side. I wouldn't force it to dry with any kind of hair dryer or anything like that. I didn't. Let me know in the comments if you find a better way to do it than, than what I've done. I did this one earlier on, so it's dried and then we're going to put the um, the next step, so step two of the crackle over the top. And again, I just did this in exactly the same way did it in small sort of sharp kind of bursts so to speak and I found that that gave me quite a nice sort of effect. So get your brush and then just sort of go over and I know I've seen some people do it so they go to sort of different brush strokes and bits and bobs but this is what I found sort of worked. I mean I'm telling you how to do it and I'm just kind of like learning myself so We'll go all the way over this and hopefully we'll get a nice crackle. I'll show you the ones that I did as well in a previous time. And what actually happens is because you're doing it over decoupage, the bottom one kind of acts as like a sticky layer and this top part will crack and um, then that's how you get like the the, the cracked effect and then then we can put something to kind of like fill the cracks right so we're just going to leave that to one side that's the next stage that's going to dry and again in true blue peter style here's one i made earlier and this one has started to crack and i don't know if you can see on the camera there it's got a really nice crackly effect and what we want to do is the bits that have cracked from the, the second component we want to sort of put something in them so it, it emphasizes the cracks and it sticks to the the first one on the bottom so you can use various different things you can use you can use powdered pigment uh, you have to make sure that you're using the correct type of pigment with the wax and the the paints and stuff that you're using i've got two here to show you this one again is from Pentar, it's a patina, a liquid patina, and that worked quite well. And I've also got some of this antique paste as well, that's bitumen base, that's the only one I could get. It's the brass kind of bronzy colour. I'll show you the two that um, I made previously with these. This one's the gold, the antique paste, and if you can see there you've got the crackle effect with the gold... Um, in between and this one is the other one the uh, the bitumen kind of uh, patina and that's the different effects that they do so to get that effect what you'll need to do get yourself a paintbrush I'm going to use this the liquid one right so you just get that there and then go over the top and when you go over let me bring it up a bit higher you can see that it's picking up on all the cracks that we've created and that will seep down into the cracks and it will stick to layer one so go over there and I know it looks dark at the moment but it won't stay 
like that, we will rub it off. And it kind of looks to me like a little bit of a snake skin effect with the way that we've gone we've gone over it with um with the brush strokes. But I'd love to try some like different strokes on there and and see what different effects we can get. I'll just put the lid on that one. And then what I'm going to do is give that a minute and hopefully that's started to sink into the cracks and just rub off the top layer and you'll see a nice crackled effect and it, it's quite the colours really nice too because it gives it that old vintage kind of look if you can see it looks really good now I've I've made I made the two that I showed you there as like some testers, some test runs. Then I'm making a set of four in this design as well. And that's what I'll be showing you in the video. So once you've done that and you've got the desired effect that you want, you need to let that dry. That needs to dry completely. And then you need to go over the top with some wax finish. Now they do a really good wax finish that I'm going to put in the description down below. It's from the same company as Polyvine. This is the one that I have. It's the wax finish varnish. I've got the dead flat and I've also got the satin finish. Before I put the, um, the first layer of the crackle medium, I went over the top of the decoupage with this satin finish. And then after I've done the crackle median, I went over it again with like a finishing layer. And this make is also heat resistant. And that's really important if you're obviously making a coaster because you're going to be putting cups of tea, coffee and hot drinks on them. So once this is completely dry, go over it with, I would say, two layers, at least two layers of this great varnish. It's a clear stain and it's a really, really good product. So go over it twice with that. Now, um, if you want to, you can take the stain down the edge and go down there, completely up to you and sort of the look that you want. Um, but obviously do that before you finish it off with the varnish. Right, now I'm going to show you how to put the coaster cork on the bottom. And what I'm going to use are these adhesive cork sheets. They're from X-Cut, um, X-Cut Extras, and you get 15 in the packet. I bought mine from Amazon and they are thin sheets of cork with a sticky side underneath there. So what I would recommend doing to start with is I can get two of these coaster sizes out of one sheet. So all I did is measure it up to the corner, so you've only got to cut two sides, draw around it with a pen or a pencil, get your edges, and then just cut that shape out with some scissors. Right, so and that's what it'll look like when it's all cut out. Now they are quite thin, so just peel it back really, really carefully. And then all you need to do is just to stick it on. I found the best way to stick it on, to get it level, is to go from the top and kind of just hover over the top. I've got the tripod in the way, so I can't stand exactly over it but it does help you to level it up level the top level the sides and then just pull it down and that gives it more of a professional coaster effect you can obviously leave this step out and just paint the underside if you want to but I think that makes it look a little bit more professional so obviously do that for all four right so we've got all of the four coasters finished now they've all been varnished over the top I've given them three coats of varnish over the top do thin layers and you better to do thin layers and do more of them than some thick layers. And I'm really, really pleased with how they've turned out. They're just the look that I wanted. Now, putting them together wise packaging, because you know we like to talk about packaging and putting things together. Um, what I thought we could do maybe is just stack them up. So you've got four in a set. And then I just got some ribbon or something like that. And all you do is go round the top like that twizzle on the bottom and then bring it back up. I also made some tags so I'm going to be doing a video for the tags at some point very very soon. 
I'm just going to grab the tag I made for this one. I really enjoyed making my, I sat in my bed with my little, my little table and I just made like loads and loads of tags so it was quite therapeutic actually. And this is the tag that I made there and all I did was stamp to and from on the side and I put some of this like raffia on the back of this tab but, but I put all sorts of different things on the others and then obviously this will make it a fantastic present and if you are doing this for maybe a craft fair or something like that then these would be great to add on as well so all I'm going to do is just snip those extra bits off there and then we'll put on a little bow, tie a little bow on and I think they look really 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 sweet and definitely that would be a, a present that I would love to receive. So I don't know about you guys, but I think they look fantastic, especially with the tag on as well. Now I just want to show you, I also decorated some coasters without doing the crackle effect. And this is the set here. I'm really pleased with how they turned out too. I am going to open them just so you can have a look. Again, I made that tag. That will be in one of the videos just to show you how to do it. I'll take this off. I just want to show you these. So all you would do if you didn't do the crackle, all you need to do is completely miss the crackle step out. When you've gone over it with the rice paper, go over it with, you know, maybe three or four coats of the varnish um, just to seal it. And that's all you would need to do. So just miss the crackle stage out. So we've got two of each design there and they would make a really, really nice present. So that's that set. And of course, I made the other ones as well in a slightly different design that I showed earlier and that's about it so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you to have a go we'll be doing a few more bits and pieces like this look out for the tag video as well that might give you a few little ideas and that's about it for me so I hope you're all okay I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you again soon you take care bye for now